Hi, I'm Stuart and welcome to Sirenet Television. We have a 4V3, I believe is the part number, and capable Chris is going to be taking it apart. So go from this side of the studio to his side of the studio. Let's go check it out. Thank you, Stuart. Wheel and Engineering's 4V series, full LED light head, happens to be a triple purpose product and also a member of the V-Series family. This one here with the 4V follows the traditional footprint of a 400 series light head and with it can be paired up with V-Series, V23s, or any of the other V-Series family such as the 500 series. So depending on your application, you can take this, mix it with other 400 series for your warning system, use the 4V here for a triple purpose, and when I say triple purpose, you get warning, downward facing white illumination, and forward facing spot illumination through two LR11 style modules inside this nice polycarbonate lens here. I'm gonna go ahead, give you an inside view, back view as well, and then also take this nice fancy pigtail trigger wire series set here and light it up so you can see firsthand how bright the product is and how the trigger wires work to make the different functions operate. As you can see, nice footprint. From the top here, get a nice view of the V component inside. And to give you a better view, go ahead, get this out of the way. On the back here, an aluminum housing yellow Gore-Tex breather, two pigtail inlets, rubber gasket to assist in the mounting. Go ahead, remove that. The four larger screws here are gonna go ahead and get removed. those out of the way and go ahead give it a wiggle to remove the front lens portion from the electronic and diode set here all mounted nice and cleanly on the aluminum fixture backing which also happens to be a large heat sink for the entire light head ZNC unlike some of the other products that Wheelan Engineering offers the lensing here does not have any optics. So with that, all of the intensity is generated inside the light head here through the lensing that is done over the individual portions of the light head. Also incorporated here, polycarbonate molding, and it's a one piece unit. So Whelan makes this component here in the clear polycarbonate, black piece in the polycarbonate on a different mold machine, they could then go ahead, run them down the assembly line, put an epoxy in here, press them together to make them a one piece. So with that, makes the unit much more tight, weather sealed, grit, grime, condensation, won't get in here making it uh, funky and unfresh. So with that removed, give you a bit of a better view of the electronics and diode sets inside here. V-Series is the inside warning component here. So with that, you get a nice 180 spread across your application. So whether it's on the back, the front, or the sides, it's gonna be visible all the way across the board. Flip it over here, give you a better view of the downward facing puddle light function. So with that, you can see mounted in a V-style shape again, four white diodes, two per side, to give you the downward facing puddle light for illumination on the ground. To the left and to the right, LR11 style modules for a nice white spot intensity. So if you're needing additional backup lights, additional front driving lights, or just spots around the vehicle for lighting up the scene or the work site, these will go ahead and give you a nice bright spot intensity to give you the illumination you need for your application. And with that, I kind of like to refer to these as a baby LR11. It's a three module, similar optics to the LR11s that you'll see in Whelan series LED light bars. Everything in here is soldered into place. So all the connections are nice and tight. So over the years, vibration won't cause any issues with the connections or the functionality in here like it could with halogen components. 
shock resistant, reverse polarity protected. So with this product being what it is from Wheelan Engineering, you get all the nice functionality that Wheelan Engineering builds into their wonderful products. Not to mention five year warranty. So if you ever have any issues with anything, it'll be taken care of. Again, two pigtails on the back to operate the different functions of the light head. And with that, I wanna see this as much as you do lit up. So I'm gonna go ahead, put this back on the front and then connect the pigtails to 12 volts. The lens itself here, no top, no bottom specific part. So I can go ahead, realign it here, not worrying about where's the top, where's the bottom for any portion of the illumination on the light. Back together, one nice and solid piece. Just gonna go ahead, separate some of the wires here. So to go ahead, get things started, black to the ground, red to the 12 volt lead wire here, Go ahead, apply power, and the light head comes on in its warning function. Right now, just happens to be on steady burn. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead, take the scan lock, which is the white with violet trace trigger wire, tap it to 12 volts to advance the flash pattern. It does offer multiple flash patterns and also phasing. So if you have them mounted around your application, you wanna have them all tied together for an alternating or simultaneous pattern, Go ahead, set your patterns as appropriate, your phasing, and tie the gray sync wires together, and then they'll be uniform around the vehicle. Just go ahead, give this a few more taps. It's always fun to go ahead and play with the flash patterns when it's in front of me here. And as you can see, with it being the V-Series inside, nice and blinding forward facing on the camera, and as I go ahead and spin it around, still has great off-axis output. So as you can see, like I mentioned earlier, 180 degree warning light. If I go ahead, take power away from the lead wire here, I can activate the other functions of the light itself. White with red, go ahead, put that to a positive 12 volts. And with that, the downward facing puddle light is activated. So go ahead. Lay the light head down here so I can face it toward the camera a bit better for you. And see nice and bright from the four diodes. So with that, when you have the light head flat mounted on your application, illumination downward facing. So ground level or on steps just to keep you a bit safer in the work area. Disconnect power there. White with black trace. And the LR11 baby modules come alive for the spot function. As you can see, blind out the camera for a quick second, nice and bright. I'll go ahead, point it toward the screen here, just so you can get a better idea of the spread focus. So as you can see, bit of a spot, almost kind of a brick in a way from the optic in the 400 series here not really optic, the lens spread itself. So you can kind of see an edge there on it, but with that, it's not a really tight focused beam like you would have in some spotlights on your vehicle. So with that, for work lights and scene lights around the vehicle, nice, good widespread. Back toward the camera again, blind you out again. Remove power there, deactivates the function. Now, if you're wondering, you can have all the functions tied together run them individually, or run some of them in sequence. So if you'd like the white illumination all tied together, one switch on your controller, 
take the two wires for the puddle for the alley, well, alley or spot, depending on how you want to use it, both functions will come alive at the same time. With those activated, you can also trigger the warning function. So you can have all three functions going at the same time. Again, you can have the warning function on, go ahead, apply power, puddle light function will come on. So again, depending on how you want to use the light head, go ahead, wire up the pigtails as appropriate to your switches or your control box. As you can see, nice and intense spread of illumination. And with that, in some applications, folks like to turn down the intensity. Just a little bit easier going for the nighttime operations, especially when you have multiple vehicles on scene. So with that, Whelan has the high-low function violet trigger wire. Take that, apply it to 12 volts, intensity of the light head drops. What's important to know is it's only the intensity of the warning function that drops. You don't have the ability to manipulate the white functions and reduce their intensity. So there you have it. Bit of the look at the inside, the triple purpose functions. I'm gonna go ahead and deactivate this here. Before I finish up with the 4V LED light head here, I want to go ahead and show you some of the flange mounting options that can go along with this. Now out of the package, it does come with the rubber backing here, so you can surface mount it on the application, nice and clean. But if you'd like to dress it up a bit, the flanges can be added to it. This one here happens to be a four flange B, B for the black bezel. So with that, you can go ahead, gather the pigtail, through the flange it goes. The light head will drop in, screw it onto the application as appropriate, and then you have the black bezeling around it. Now, as you can see, tipping it downward, the bezel itself doesn't interfere with the puddle light function. So really important to know, in case you were curious, am I gonna lose that when I add the flange versus just using the gasket that it comes with? So as you can see right here, no puddle light function is altered or affected by the flange. Chrome as well, just happens to be a four flange E. Again, light head will fit into it screw it in as appropriate. As you can see, no functionality blocked with the flange in the puddle light. Four TS series, available in chrome, available in black as well. And with this, you can see in comparison to the other flange, it's a bit higher in its mounting, about twice the leveling. Initially, this was for the Whelan 6 over 6 series LED light head, which had a deeper backing to it. But if you have flanges like this or cast housings around your application and you're looking to refresh lighting with the 4V series, these will fit into it without any issue. Or if you'd like to use the extended flange just to better suit the application for new equipment, again, this will work great. So if you need some extension over a bumper lip, off of a front grill, push bumper, what have you, this will suit the need better. Again, pigtail goes through. Light head will go into place here, screw it in as appropriate, screw the flange in as appropriate as well, and then you'll have a nice chrome extended dressed up 4V series light head on your application. So there's a look at the 4V with the flanges here. Go ahead, get these back out of the way. Rubber gasket, again, that comes with it out of the package. Tucks around on the back, again, nice and clean. And as you can see, mounting holes through the gasket here align with the screw holes for affixing it on the surface, should you choose not to add the flange. There you have it. Bit of an inside look, functionality look, and a flange dress-up look for Whelan Engineering's 4V 
LED light heads. I'm Chris. Thanks for watching SirenNet Television. Back to you, Stuart. Well, thanks, Chris. As always, greatly appreciate your efforts. Great work he does, but don't tell him. I'm Stuart. Thanks for watching SirenNet Television.